Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher. Uh, we're in Chapter 3, and according to reputable sources, aka everyone, uh, Chapter 3 is where things really start to get interesting. I don't know why, but uh, I'm excited to find out. So I'm just going to review our quests here. Obviously we have the, uh, the dice stuff that'll continue to be there until we start crushing people. We've got the reception. Uh, so Triss is trying to convince me to go to Luvarden's reception. It's due to take place on the upper floor of the new Court. We've got all the king's men. Triss gave me a letter of safe conduct, which allows me to stay in the trade quarter. Why did Velorad declare a state of emergency? A state of emergency has been declared in Vizima. I must keep that in mind as I move around. I don't need any more trouble. My identity, Triss can't restore my memory, even using magic. The sorceress advised me not to seek the truth based on what people say about the past, because I may produce a false image of myself. Should I trust my impulses, emotions, and thoughts then? Is that the way to rebuild my identity? So perhaps speaking with people who once knew me will help me recover that. Then we've got the source. Triss Marigold asked me to set three magic sensors in three places in Vizima. The trade quarters near Town Hall, the temple quarter by the entrance to the sewers, and at the cemetery. Triss claims the anomalies are caused Causing more monsters to appear in Vizima, the sensors should help us discover the source of these anomalies. I have to place the three magic sensors. One near blah blah blah. Okay, so we have all these things to do. I'm not sure what's going to be the best thing to handle first, but I think I'm probably going to just go and check out the area. See uh, what kind of trouble we can get into. We've got a trunk back here. Did I check this already? we got white roses, yoink. And sorceresses and sorcerers. Let's check this. The Brotherhood of Sorcerers ceased to exist after the revolt on Canid Island when some of the mages were accused of serving Nilfgaard and were arrested or killed. All the important sorcerers were there for a meeting due to transpire on the following day. Nilfgaard, I'm a little bit concerned um, or concerned and confused about what Nilfgaard is or who Nilfgaard is because I've seen it a few times but I'm not grasping 100% what it is. Uh, neutral mages also perished during the fighting. Among them was Hen Gedim... I don't know. Gedimdith. <laughs> who remembered the beginnings of human colonization. Soon after, Tessaia de Vries committed suicide. Uh, her death marked the end of the Brotherhood and the advent of a new order. After the revolt, the revolt on Thanet Island, some of the surviving sorceresses grew in prominence. Philippa Elhart consolidated her position at Redania's court, while the elf Francesca Feindebeer Queen of the Valley of Flowers expanded her involvement in human affairs. Triss Marigold, hello, a younger sorceress representing full test interests, also joined in shaping the new order. Okay. Learning a little bit about Triss. There's this teleport. I don't know where it takes me. I can go to the Swamp Tower, to Kalkstein's lab. Oh. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. And I've already read this, but you know what? I'm going to take it anyways. I'll drop the food. I have these so I can upgrade a sword finally. Lots of stuff going on. Okay. I'm going to take the book anyways so that I can potentially sell it. Sorry, Triss. I need the money more than you, obviously. I'll talk to her one more time before we go. Ooh, the Rivian Pogrom. What the hell? Okay, I'll actually throw this in my quick slot just to clear up a space. The Rivian Pogrom, based on eyewitness accounts. After the war, the people of Rivia were unhappy. Poverty was the plight of many, and most believed the kings and magnates had betrayed them during the peace talks, but not exacting reparations from Nilfgaard. A scapegoat was needed, and as usual, it was the changelings, non-humans, and witchers. A mere spark was required to send a furious crown into the streets. Anyone who seemed different was targeted. Dwarves, elves, and those accused of using spells were all murdered. People also used the situation to settle old scores, loot, and rape. I admit, shamefully, that few were brave enough to stand in defense of the persecuted. Among those few was the famous Geralt of Rivia. Nice. Who, in seeking to protect his friends, was struck with a pitchfork and died. There would have been more victims if not for the intervention of Triss Marigold. The sorceress sent a powerful hailstorm down on the crowd. Only what powerful spell, only that powerful spell could stop the rioting. 
What happened to the body of Geralt of Rivia and those who stood by his side, I do not know. Okay, cool. We've heard a little bit about our past. Not a whole lot. Um, pretty much, that's just repeating what we've already heard. Geralt. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay. Uh. You stop. Yes. That was weird. Your pass. You're overdoing it with the passes. Complain to the king. He's returned. No, but all new edicts bear his seal. Farewell. Okay, so they're hard up with these passes. I might, though I might want to stay clear of politics. I sense it's impossible in Vizima. I don't aim to look for trouble, though. Interesting. I saw a spider-like monster tear apart a pharmacist at the merchant's gate. What did the creature look like? Imagine a dog eating a spider, then vomiting it out. Now enlarge the spider a hundredfold. Oh. Nay, enlarge him a thousand times. Give him my mother-in-law's face and wrath, <laughs> and that's your monster. A professional description. That's awesome. Thanks. I was hacking at the beast with my sword. Unlike you, I saw no need to examine it more closely. Thanks again. Interesting. Uh, damn it. Kikamore Warrior. Thing. Ingredients to track A. So we learned a little bit about this spider that we may have to find. Look at there's just so much stuff now. I'm just gonna go kind of exploring and see if there's anything I can find. Know your place, My legs just I start dancing. If another soldier bugs me, I'll demonstrate what a Christian nobleman can do. Just walk into their houses, see what's up. I can't imagine these guys having anything good in here. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the grindstone. Is there anything I can drop for this? I need to find an inn is what I should do. And store some items. Let's just throw it on there. Oh, I can't even do that. Alright, let's drop that. That's fine. Let's just leave it like Nothing so. Nothing breeds happiness like a good transaction. What are those? My brother gifted all he owned to the order to become a knight. I'm so proud. I think your brother might be a little bit foolish. Just He's throwing that out there. Look at this jester. Jester. What happens when a sorceress polymorphs into a viper? Who knows? None see a difference. <laughs> okay, he's gonna be my little one-liner, I guess. I'm gonna go straight to this blacksmith. Where did I see that? I'm sure I just saw a blacksmith over here. Alchemist, nobleman. Shit, there's literally stuff everywhere. Swordsmith. Let's go to him. Goodbye then. Perfect. A witcher, a witcher completes hide this your mess. women. <laughs> Got a little bit worried about me taking their action. Get an 
Dalmatia. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's probably going to happen a lot. Very soon. All sorts of new things. I'm pretty stoked. Apparently, you guys were saying there's a lot to do in this area. And I could just run around randomly like I'm doing. Vivaldi and Sons Bank. We got all these vendors here. Arms dealer, bookseller, alchemist, Zeracanian vendor, herbalist. Here's the new Nerecourt Inn. I guess I might as well get like a general sense of something to do. So let's go to the reception then. Because why not? I hope it doesn't always rain here. That'll be straight up depressing. This place is happening though. Like there are a ton of people around. Oh, let's check this. Okay. A ton of contracts. I don't even know. Let's get rid of this ham sandwich. We need three steaks. Seeks a supplier of fresh wyvern meat. Acquire with the innkeeper. All right, let's actually... Those ruffians own town hall. We'll go in here first, and then I'm going to drop a bunch of... Uh, I'm gonna drop one of these items. It seems like I already have these wyvern steaks anyway, so may as well hand them over. Patrick Deweez. Oh, Dandelion's here. That's awesome. We're gonna talk to him in just a second. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? I'm here about the notice. Yes, the wyvern meets. You have three pieces? I do. Your coin. That was easy money. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? Tell me about the meetings that meet up, that have a stair of Ludley Inn. You have must host many an illustrious guest. I need rest, got a room. Okay, let's first of all... Let's drop a bunch of this stuff. So, these runes, as far as I know, I need to have three of these runes to to put into a sword. I do have three of these um, meteorites, which is a bit different. So, that's another thing I can worry about. I'll keep these books because I'm going to sell them. I'll hold on to this jewelry. I'll get rid of the thing for bombs just for now. I'll drop the beer. The shawl I don't need. The Vargas skulls I don't need. Wolf pelt. And drop a whole bunch of stuff. I will actually, just in case I need to drink with someone. I'll grab a, I'll grab these beers back. And then all these contracts, I'm going to grab and I'm going to sell them hopefully to that book guy that we saw. Great. Can I Tell me about the meetings that occur upstairs. The noble Luvarden of the Merchants Guild rented the first floor of my inn. I'm to supply food and drink and keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm invited. Tell me more. If so, you know all you need to know. If you feel you don't honor my discretion... Maybe some gold will untie your tongue. Maybe. I like gold. 
but you can't possibly pay me as much as Luvarden. Besides, I'd rather not annoy his backers. Who's backing Luvarden? Quiet! I've said too much already! Okay, Mr. Innkeeper. Forgive me. I'm busy. Oh, damn, now he won't talk to me. I'll tell you what. You're losing my business. Okay, so I'm going to grab all of these now. The Killamore, the Ghouls. Oh, there's tons. The Kikamores are evil and wretched, and therefore, Velarad, right honorable ruler of Vizima, has posted a reward for their death. Ten Kikamore Claws will guarantee a full purse. But we need to learn about them. Or maybe, is that the thing we learned about at the beginning? I'll have to check. 12 ghouls. Fangs of vampires. The cockatrice contract. Need five cockatrice feathers. We'll pay well. Uh oh. We have to kill five of those. That's not good. Gravier contract. Anyone who can slay five graviers, bring their bones. And the Archespore. I need three vials of Archespore juice. We'll pay Jethro Jailer. Okay. The Grave Digger has some. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, we've got all these different things to look out for in our uh, little adventures. Let's see if our innkeeper decides to open up his mouth again. Yep. A famous monster slayer gracing my modest inn. Greetings. Can I help you? Lovely inn. You must host many an illustrious guest. True, though not many since this state of emergency. Any other interesting customers? You are nosy. Terrible <laughs> fault. I have a terrible fault too. I'm greedy as hell. <laughs> He's so honest. 233 orange. Oh my Christ. Get out. Get out. I'm not paying him that. There's got to be another way. No need for testiness. I'll tend to this matter and then I'm all yours. What does she have? She's got some alcohol, which I don't really need. I'm okay. Let's go talk to Dandelion and see what he's up to. Geralt, I'm glad you're here. I'm not in the mood for music, Dandelion. We'll talk later. Geralt, I promised to perform for all these people and I don't have my loot. Uh-oh. And you have a problem. Geralt. <laughs> what happened to your loot? Hmm. Long story. Tell you over a drink? Let's do it. Then I'm going to have to stay at the inn. Okay, Dandelion, I'm running out of beers here, brother. Oh my god. I don't want to drink this one, but I'm doing it. There we go. Jeez, Dandy. Ugh. Forgot how tough you were. <laughs> <laughs> Got up the courage to tell me about the loot? I guess. My loot's at the home of a rich merchant. The house is on the west side of Salt Square. And I can't possibly leave. The crowd awaits. What, yeah, what's the big deal? Why wouldn't you tell me earlier? Well... The merchant caught me giving his daughter lessons. In what? <laughs> Relax, Geralt. Music. All right. I'll fetch your loot. Wonderful. What's so special about this loot? It's the one I got from Teruviel in the Valley of Flowers. Remember? No, I don't. 
Who's Teruvia? The she-elf from the Blue Mountains. You did quite a number on her nose when you two first met. Where is she now? I heard she joined the Scoyatel. I wonder if she's still alive. In the Valley of Flowers? I even wrote a ballad about that, where the devil says goodnight. I'll be singing it today. I don't recall. We're not done here. Ugh. Got up the... I... I don't... Okay, I guess we're done. One thing I'm thinking about is, uh... Trying to keep these things as organized as possible. So what I may do... Is go... Like, if I get a quest, just like I did... get Go and get the loot, and then bring it back. And just kind of do things one at a time, because I think... It's a little overwhelming getting so many quests at once, and then you're just running all over the place. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think is the smartest way to, uh, to handle it. You guys probably know all the, the smart ways to do it, no but... No need for testiness. I'll tend to this matter, and then I'm all yours. Without telling me what specific things I should actually be, uh, going to do, or what have you, just let me know. I guess I should buy more of these now. Uh, just let me know if I can go and do one at a time, or if it would make more sense to do a whole bunch. And the reason why, I would love to to hear your thoughts on it. Be with you. Any room? Favor. Okay, let's get this drunk off. <laughs> Again. Yeah, let's just rest. Let's just make it happen. We've got the fist fighters here, which we could probably fight. Tons of stuff to do. But I think right now I'm just gonna go and see if I can get Dandelion's loot. You left it in a certain house in Vizima. Alright, let's go get it. I don't see him actually giving me any money for it or anything, but you know what? He's a good buddy. One of the rare people that I think I can probably trust. No reason to be here, white hair. Is this it here? Let's find out. Merchant's house. This is going to be the new old lady. Leave my daughter oh God. in peace. I want nothing from your daughter. I don't believe you. Get out of my house, you <laughs> oh, blooming drifter. Shit. Listen, good man. Out, or I'll kick you out. I'd prefer a peaceful resolution. Shove off. I've heard enough insults. I'll take you with one hand, bastard. Take that. Oh, I'm gonna fight him? You asked for it. You don't come at me and expect to survive. <laughs> Just taunts him. Damn you! Pass then. Just don't beat me anymore. It could have been a lot easier, bro. That's all I'm Lord, saying. Grant me patience. Damn you! All right, let's see where this freaking uh oh. I imagine that his daughter. Oh, what is this? What the sh... What? Okay, well maybe his daughter has the loot. Hello? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I apologize for the intrusion. 
That's all right. I'm terribly bored since Papa caught the tree with our dandelion here. No one sees me. That's why I'm here. Why didn't he come himself? Perhaps it's just as well. You look promising too. Uh -oh. I'm here about the loot. I figured. Somehow he hasn't been singing love songs under my window since Father caught us. By the way, I hope you didn't hurt Papa. He'll be fine. Why should I give up the loot? After all, Dandelion won't come to see me anymore. He's like that. If I give it to you, he'll use it to serenade some other victim. If you give up the loot, it'll prove he's nothing to you. You dumped him. You've demonstrated that your character, the beauty of your soul, outsigns even your rosy cheeks. She seems to like the cheese, like he's singing to her and all that stuff, so I'm going to go with this. You demonstrate that your character, the beauty of your soul, outshines even your rosy cheeks. <laughs> Don't flatter me. Oh, damn. I'm no fool. The poet master humiliated me. He used me like some lewd wench. I want revenge. I want him to feel what I feel now. If you give up the loot, it'll prove he's nothing to you. You dumped him. Yes, he fell at my feet. He proposed, but I refused. There we go. I would stop short of the marriage proposal. No one would believe it. Oh, I just got to get him now this thing. Can I take the loot? Just a moment. What's in it for you? Why are you helping? He's my friend. A friend? Come closer. Fear not. I won't bite. I heard once that a witch's oh, touch God. is, um, special. Dandelion's sloppy seconds. Causes a slight tingling. Let me show you. Oh, God. Dandelion's gonna be so pissed. I'm doing it for the loot. Hope he, he better not be pissed. He's gonna be pissed. Well, give me the damn loot. Oh my. Oh my, she says. Oh my. Where's this thing? Ah. There it is. Well. Goodbye, <laughs> Rosalind. Uh, it was nice to know you, and I totally... My friend is going to be pissed. Like, there is no way that this is going to go well. There's just no way. While I'm here, let me run over to the bookseller. Scoundrel tried to sell me fist tech. I stumble over fist tech more than dog manure. No wonder they instituted martial law. Will that help? No, as usual. Why do you stare? Okay, this is the arms dealer. Bookseller. Here we go. Shop with your sword? A good book, perhaps. I thought only wholesalers came to market. Retailers enjoy good business too. All right, I've got some stuff for you. So these scrolls, apparently, these contracts are not worth anything. Which kind of makes sense. But now I got a whole sack of books to read. The Last Wish. That's <laughs> The Last Wish is actually what this whole game is based off of. Uh, that guy's book. That's funny. 800 bucks. Oh my god. The Vaginoi and the Fish People. Druid's Herbarium we've read. Plants of Barren Lands. Great Book of Minerals. Insectoids. Okay, we need to learn about the Kikamores, so that's good. Vampires, we need to learn about those. But that's like all of our money at that point. But pretty much, everything else looks like 
we've read, which is actually really great. Here's one, Flower in the Flame. Lara Dorn and Craig in the Vlod. Let's see. Okay, so there's actually only a couple of major books in here that we need, but I do need some more money. So what I may try to do is get some poker going on, make a little bit of coin, and see if I can't get enough to buy more of these books because right there, these two books are 1400 bucks. Although this last wish, I don't know if that's going to be... Well, it's 800 bucks. It's going to be awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, so when we return, we're going to return the loot and buy some books, maybe do some gambling, stuff like that. Talk to you. Bye.